you're probably thinking, Brad, where the hell are you? This is not your crappy little apartment. And then you're wondering, did you get kicked out? Did you get evicted from your apartment because you bought too many sports cards? And the answer is not yet. I wanna show you a bit of LA, and this is the Grove. This is one of my favorite areas. But in today's mail week, I wanna show you exactly why it is vital that we open our packages on tape because I actually received the wrong cards in one of my orders. Now, before I jump in, I wanna give a quick shout out to James Wu, Brian Kingsley, Aaron Escania, and Jake Malpass. Guys, thanks so much for engaging with me in the comments section. Now let's jump into the video. Yeah, you know what? I'm going all in on Select. I think it's a really attractive card. It looks way better than Prism in my opinion. They still use that Chipotle foil here, but not as much. And just the overall theme, it's it's like classy. It looks like a, a Budweiser beer. I don't even know if that makes sense, but that's what it reminds me of. It looks like just a classy put together card. And so I'm gonna go with second year. I'll do first year selects of players, second year selects of other players, because the first year select for Damian Lillard was his rookie year. Chipotle rookie of Jeremy Lin. Again, Lin Sanity just needs to happen once. That uh, that documentary with Lin Sanity, that's going to happen at some point and I'll be ready. And these are like a dollar or less. Russell Westbrook uh, select first year cards. I think really nice looking cards. And no one talks about Russell Westbrook. He's uh, one of the best scorers that NBA's ever seen. So I'm happy there. I like these too. Dwayne Wade first year selects. That's a hot card. And just the way that each team's colors accentuate the player, to me, that's really attractive. That's a very good looking. Oh, I, I gotta give credit to this seller who uh, put him in sleeves. Same thing with Dirk. No one talks about Dirk. Uh, I mean, look, not the most collectible guy. It's not like he had this crazy off the off the court life, but such a great player. And I wonder if Luca's presence in Dallas is going to bring some light and attention to Dirk, especially if they do well. Rookie card, rookie card of Kawhi Leonard. Hey, I'll take it. It's marquee. It's not nothing fancy, but let's take a look. Condition. Looks like a little ding down there. You see that right there by the K, a little ding. I don't know if that's the plastic or the card, but overall conditions quite well. And then insert pick of Go Bucks, Tom Brady. And yeah, okay. 2019, 2020 Anthony Davis cards. Uh, it's, it's hard to find Anthony Davis in a Lakers jersey, but that looks nice. It's a good looking card right there couple of the white uh, Anthony Davis cards as well, white jersey Lakers, but it's good for a playoff run. I'm already seeing the prices go up on Comp C, so I'm very happy about that little lot right there. The Jeremy Lin thing's probably just not gonna pan out, but honestly, I, I don't care. For the, the price I'm paying, I'll take the risk. All right. Ooh, thank you. You're welcome, James. This is a cool card. That is like 90s, 90s written all over it. It's long, it's weird, it's Shaq with those early 90s shoes, just like super early 90s. It looks like you pump those things up. Long, a, a tall boy. I don't know if that's called a tall boy, like the beers. Oh, uh, condition sucks ass right there. Uh, what's the point of even putting it in one of these, uh, sleeves one of these things if the condition is that bad yeah all right that's going straight to comp c so not happy about the condition but you know what for a few dollars you take the risk you take the gamble and i'll take the gamble on this let's take a look at what's inside what's in my dime bag my type of drug right here sports cards don't do drugs kids do sports cards instead All right, what year is this? All right, so Gronk, uh, Prism rookie, or Chipotle burrito rookie, that's what I like to call it. Centering's quite nice. Yeah, yeah, good looking card. Not bad, I would consider getting that graded. And not everyone's a Gronk fan, I just think he's childlike. Like, 
he, that energy I had when I was a kid, he has all the time. And I think that's really rare. So I'm a fan of that. I was a fan of him before he joined the Bucks, but obviously as a Bucks fan, I'm really into that. And then second year, I think these are second year prism. Yeah, second year prism of Wade and Shaq. Uh, for the price I paid, I felt like, hey, you know what, Wade's gonna have his time. He's gonna have the Hall of Fame. He's gonna, he might be tied into something Kobe related for a documentary. Shaq definitely will. One of the most entertaining anchors, one of the best big men to ever play the game. So second year Prism, I'll take it. Got the Gronk rookie and then some old school Shaq here. And uh, I wish Metal could come back. I'd love to see Metal come back because that was one creative set back in the day. That is cool. Chris Godwin, my boy, go Bucks. Uh, he's set to have a really big year. He had a, a breakout season last year. He did a, a great job with Jameis throwing in the ball, even though Jameis threw the, the opposition, the ball just as much. But you know what? Huge fantasy year. I think he was the number one fantasy wide receiver last year, and he's set to have another big year with this guy right here, Tom Brady, in the mix. Tony Romo, kind of random, but you know what? Tony Romo is a likable dude. And I think of him as one of those guys that could be a commentator for a long time. So to spend just a few dollars on a Prism rookie, because his actual rookie cards were still pretty expensive. But I will say the Cowboys uniform, the silver of the helmet, the color scheme goes really well with the Prism Chipotle look they got going. And of course, another Tom Brady early Bowman Chrome card. So you know I love my Ken Griffey. I don't like him in the Cincinnati Reds uniform compared to the uh, Mariners one, but I'll still take it. I'll, and you know, it's cool. It has a signature here. It's obviously not real, but signature. Uh, it's a refractor, so it's really nice looking. Early LeBron James. Oh man, is that dirt? Look up there, look at, look at that right there. Man, people, people. That one's a bit better, but man, still, even the bottom corner, it's not very nice. You see that? Let me see if I can zoom in. You can see that right there. Just not a very good corner. So I'll put these in sleeves. Uh, I don't know why the hell I got a Bill Russell, but it must be under a dollar each. Same thing with Isaiah Thomas. These must have been 50 cents, 70 cents each, where there's just no harm of stocking up. Oh, speaking of stocking up, stocked and up. And these were going for a few dollars, like five or six bucks on Comp C. So I don't mind just sending them in there. When they sell, they sell. John Wall, I picked up one, why the hell not? And yeah, I love my Penny Hardaways. I got that uh, Select Prisms earlier. I don't know if you saw it in another video, but uh, I love the Penny Hardaway and the Select as well. Anthony Davis, ninth, uh, yeah. Oh, I, I think I accidentally bought this. It kind of sucks because it's, it says Lakers and it, it's his New Orleans uh, jersey. So. It's, it's a bit disappointing, but whatever. I'll, I'll send it to Comp C, see if it sells. And this one's cool. New optic with the Lakers jersey. So that's a nice insert there. And Dak Prescott, I don't know if this is, it's not his rookie one, is it? 17, I think, his uh, second year. But that's a good looking card. And especially because the Cowboys are America's team. So you got the red, white, and blue. I think that's even more fitting. What do you think? Yay, yay, I finally did it. I finally won. I beat the tape. Probably destroyed half my cards, but I beat the tape. All right, Shaq Chrome, Shaq Chrome. I've been gobbling these things up because they were really cheap. His cards haven't gone up too much on the Chromes, and he's just not going to go anywhere. He's one of the best ever, so that's very easy. Second year, Russell Westbrook. Again, no one's really talking about Russell Westbrook, but great score. Second year, Prism. If I can get them cheap, I will. These cards right here, these Optic Anthony Davis cards, they have been flying off the shelves. And by shelves, I mean CompC's website. And they're up to about $7 or so by, at, at this time right now. And I'm sure they'll just keep going up as the playoffs get closer and closer. Same thing with these selects. I think these are really good looking cards. And for that first year in the Lakers jersey before Prism comes out, to me, that's easy. Uh, this is nice too, select. What year is this? 2013. So I forgot if 13 is the first year for football. I'll have to look it up. But good looking card with Russell Westbrook. No, Russell Wilson, sorry. 
And then this one is badass. That is cool. This is like a 90, I think 95, 96 uh, themed, 95, I think it's 95 themed finest refractor or finest, yeah, I think it's, I don't know, refractor, I think. But that's a cool ass card. I want more of these. That is badass, just with other players. But that would be a sick set right there. That's so 90s. Here, ah, yes, more tape to battle through. Yes, my favorite. I didn't want it to be easy. I wanted it to be really stressful and frustrating. More shacks. Shack, shack, shack. Okay, gotcha. Got the point. Yeah, D Wade. If I can get more D Wades, that's that's a nice chrome card right there. Tops chrome. Beautiful. Tim Duncan, first year select. Not the sexiest guy to collect, but one of the best basketball players ever for sure. Some more Dirks. James Harden. I, I'm not a big fan of James Harden. I know he's really good. I think it's just the beard always freaked me out. Reminded me of that one UFC uh, fighter. It was a Kimbo Slice. I think it was around the same time that they started their careers and it just kind of freaked me out. More Russell Westbrooks. Dirk, looking angry. Looking unkempt. Looks like he's been in a lockdown for five years. Hasn't shaved, has not got a haircut. Maybe that's the way he scares opponents. It's like, dude, don't get near me. I probably smell like shit. Hey, whatever works. Tim Duncan, second year Prism, and Kawhi Leonard. And this is in his Clippers uniform. It's just, it's unfortunate that you don't really get to see it say Clippers because he's uh, he's holding the ball right in front. It's pretty jack, man, solid bicep. And there he is. Okay, some more Clippers cl cards right there. So either way, I'm protected on a good playoff run. I think those cards will go up in value as long as they don't get bounced in the first round. And then this is the final stack right here. More Kawhi Leonard's first year in a Clipper jersey. I want to get most of these sold before playoffs, to be honest. More Brady's, Bowman Chrome, early Chromes. Beautiful cards. This is one of my favorites. I've, I've picked up a couple of these in other videos. Really nice looking card. And then this one too. Yeah, I, I really like the Topps Chrome refractors of the all-star jersey and i know that's not going to be as popular as the saints jersey but the refractor look with the colorful jersey and the signature uh, i think that's cool and there's something with the pro bowl where it's like ah it's hawaii it says hawaii up there i feel a bit more relaxed like rather be in hawaii than in new orleans you know but then again to be fair i'd rather be in hawaii than pretty much anywhere else uh who's this who the hell's this cornerback who are you antoine molden okay i don't know who you are but I got to look at the sheet because I did not order Antoine Molden. Not sure who that is. So this is why we do this. Gronk, little tiny rookie card. And then uh, this is an insert from his 2013 year. I don't know. I honestly don't know why I got this of Colin Kaepernick. I think it was just probably 45 cents or 50 cents or something so cheap. I just threw it on. But got to check out Antoine Molden. That's very strange. Drew Brees. Uh, these should be refractors, I'd imagine, right? Doesn't, I mean, it's refracting, right? Or is that just, no, I guess not. I don't know. Okay. Well, that is it. I got to check out what's the deal with this Antoine Molden dude. No clue, but, uh, I'll look into it and let you guys know. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments section if you like this little intro around LA and pound the like for good karma during your next box break. See you in the next video.